Hello and welcome to another edition of Teacher Talk Second Grade here with another Who Would Win book. Today we have Hammerhead versus Bull Shark. This is a book by Jerry Pilata and illustrated by Rob Bolster. Thank you both. This is distributed by Scholastic and that gives you a good idea of where to buy this guy. So if you do Scholastic book orders in your classrooms, ask your teacher or if you're a parent, check in with your teacher and see if they can help you to order these. If not, Amazon's another great way to buy them, and I will put a link to the Amazon page so you can buy these books. So check out the description and you can purchase them there. Speaking of reading level, I am a second grade teacher. However, this book is a level P on the guided reading level, which tells us that this book is really more of a third grade reading level book. So in fact, it's an end of third grade book. So if you're a second grader, please make sure you're a very strong reader if you're gonna go out and purchase these books unless you're gonna have an adult or someone else read them to you. All right, let's get right to it. Hey, right now, take a moment. Please subscribe to this channel. I've got about 20 of these books on my channel. Check them all out. Hitting subscribe will help you to get to those books, and it helps me out a bunch too. All right, guys, let's dive right in. By the way, this is the second time this book is on my channel. The first one, I did not tell you who won. Today, I'm gonna to show you every single page and I'll even read the last couple pages where we discuss who wins the fight. So we are gonna find out the winner in the back of this book. So if you're familiar with these, they're gonna give you some background information on these two sharks. Talk about the great hammerhead shark and the bull shark. All kinds of different sharks. As always, they have their scientific name, which I am not even going to try to pronounce right now. And there's fun facts about these guys. Did you know facts about these guys? Interesting facts about these two sharks. Discusses how hammerheads hunt by themselves at night. And during the day, they migrate in huge schools. Very cool. How the bull shark prefers to be alone. Very cool. Different kinds of heads of the different sharks. Where these sharks can be found. Wow, is that a scary sight right there or what? Taking a front look at these sharks with more interesting and fun facts and more did you knows. Talking about the different teeth, there's the hammerhead and the bull shark up at the top, as well as all kinds of different shark teeth down here. Thought it was kind of funny right here where my thumb is that the whale shark has these tiny little teeth. Anatomy of the hammerhead, anatomy of the bull shark. Very cool, kind of shows you the different shapes that these guys are and maybe why they are that shape in nature. Look at that guy, looks pretty similar to the space shuttle. Very, very interesting. Shark tails. Shark friends. Shark hitchhikers, very interesting. Things a hammerhead shark can't do. Things a bull shark can't do. Looks like they're adding a little humor in there. All right, friends, we are getting towards the end here. So we will see what happens as these guys meet. I will read these pages to you. A giant hammerhead is cruising along a bull shark looking for food. The hammerhead sees the bull shark, but it is not interested. Huge sharks are not his type of food. The hammerhead looks for something smaller to eat. The bull shark feels threatened. It is not afraid to pick a fight. He swims right up to the hammerhead. The bull shark opens his mouth and tries to ram the hammerhead. The hammerhead's better eyesight allows him to turn and avoid the bull shark. The hammerhead dodges away. 
The bull shark is angry and darts at the hammerhead again. The hammerhead ducks. Both sharks are excellent swimmers. The bull shark attacks again. This time it bites the hammerhead's tail. The hammerhead turns to defend itself, but the bull shark catches a piece of the hammerhead's tail and rips off a chunk. Ooh, look at all that evidence. Look at all that evidence my students are collecting. Great job, guys. The hammerhead is bleeding and it can't swim as fast. His blood excites the bull shark even more. At full speed, the bull shark rams the hammerhead and knocks him off balance. The bull shark bites the hammerhead a few more times. The hammerhead is defeated. The bull shark will eat him. The sharks in the area can smell the meal. The bull shark has won today. Maybe next time these two species meet, the hammerhead will recognize the danger right away. So today the winner is the bull shark. Very cool. And if you know these books, you know that there's a checklist at the end. In my opinion, I wish that checklist would be before we find out who wins. So what I ask my students to do is to tape these last two pages together. And that way they can build their evidence and they can go here and kind of decide, okay, which shark is longer? Which one weighs more? Is, does one have a teeth advantage or a vision advantage or a head shape advantage? Very cool. Hope you enjoyed this. Again, please subscribe. This is about the 20th who would win that is on, on my channel. So by hitting subscribe, look at that playlist and you should be able to see all these who would win and along with a lot of other awesome book series. So please check out the channel, hit subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.